What is going on YouTube? My name is Keg and welcome back to Clash Royale. Now you can see that I'm at 3,049 trophies right now. I think my highest is just higher than that, 3,073. Uh, so we'll continue to keep pushing up. I haven't upgraded any of my cards recently. I still need to get the 8,000 to upgrade the Ice Spirits, but unfortunately there's always Spear Goblins or something, or Hog Riders or Fireballs or whatever that come up in the shop. So I always buy them. But I got, only got myself to blame for that one. A uh, couple of free chests. Let's open these up. See if we get anything that's in our deck. Goblins are okay. Sometimes I switch them in. Ah, uh, the rocket. More goblins. Well, wow. goblins are the fight of the day. Let's see if we get goblins again in this one. Good, we get a hog rider. We get spear goblins. That's good. Uh, let's get straight into a live battle. See how we do. Alright, so here we are. We are fighting Liu. Liu? I can't remember. Liu? Either way, they're at 3047, level 9. I got Spear Goblins in my hand, so I'll play them straight away. Now I'm hoping to play the Ice Spirit Hog Rider combo straight up the right hand lane. He's already used his zap. I'm just kind of worried about what he's got uh, coming. So I've got the cannon ready. He's got a Sparky, so I assume there's going to be a giant somewhere here. I don't want to waste any elixir, so I will just play the minions back here. I got my zap back. Which is good. Let's see what he plays with his Sparky. There's the giant, so we're gonna distract. We will also zap the Sparky, play the Valkyrie behind it. So that's good. Happy with that. And overall, that was a pretty good defense, I think. Please don't get one zap off. Please don't get one zap off. He didn't. Excellent. So he's got his zap back. He should zap them. Nope. He's gonna let me get some free damage off. I'm happy with that. I have the Hog Rider and Ice Spirit back again. I want to keep up the the aggression with this deck. So I have. Literally nothing on defense right now. That was a good zap, so I should be able to get three or four hits off with my Hog Rider. Uh, I will play the minions for this, because this guy can do some damage. And that was actually a good play. Oh, I'm reasonably happy with that. Uh, I'll play the Spear Goblins over here, just so that the Mega Minion doesn't get too much damage on the tower. Because a Mega Minion that is um, raged, yeah, that can do a lot of damage. So I know that he's got the giant. I know he wants to play his Sparky behind it. He doesn't want to play his giant on his own. So again, I'm going to keep the aggression going. I don't want him to get the setup that he wants to get the push that he wants. So it looks like at this point in time, he may... I don't think I'll need to zap that. No, I won't need to zap that. Uh, I'm going to play the Valkyrie over here as a distract. So these guys can't get to my tower. Unfortunately, when the rage gets dropped by him, it'll be in a pretty good spot for those... Uh... No, nothing's going to come down the right-hand lane. I thought it would. Okay, we're in double elixir now, so I'm not too concerned. Um, I will just play... Oh, he's going to play it on the left-hand lane. That's okay. I will play just like Ken in there, because I thought he was going to drop the giant straight away. Uh, which he didn't. There's the giant there. I shouldn't be wasting elixir like that. Uh, I really do need to get rid of my hog rider, but instead I'm going to play the fireball. Get rid of that mega minion. We're going to zap, then immediately play my Valkyrie. Then I'll play some minions to help out with the giant. He's going to play another Sparky. So they were probably a little bit too close. Those minions, that, those uh, Spear Goblins, they were a little bit too close. I'll play the Ice Spirit there. Oh, he, that was my bad. He, uh, he zapped it straight away. So we're going to distract the giant over here. I'm pretty sure that should distract. It does. We'll zap. Play the Valkyrie at the back just to help out some more. We're going to play the Ice Spirit just to slow everything down as a bit of defense. The minions here, and they shouldn't be able to get the tower at all. He doesn't get the tower at all. That was a good game. Well done, Liu. Liu from Account Napoli 1926. I'm sure I'm butchering something here. But anyway, we've got 29 trophies for that one, so we can't complain too much about that. That wasn't too bad. Let's uh, jump straight into another one, and we'll see if we can get another win for you guys. All right. We are against a level 10 the Joker in Trophy Hunters. I have the Spear Goblins again as my in my opening hand, so I'm going to play them straight away. Looks, looks, this looks to be a very, very similar opening hand to my previous one, because I now have the Ice Spirit and the Hog Rider immediately behind it, if I can actually play it. Right, we're up against the Lava Hound deck. I really need to get my uh, Hog Rider, uh, sorry, my Ice Spirit upgraded. So we're going to play the Cannon here as a little bit of a distract. Now I'm going to play the Minions back a bit. So that the... Oh, I wanted the uh, Mega Minion to lock on to the cannon first. That was a bit of my bad. Let's play the Ice Spirit on this side. See if we can actually freeze all these guys. That's okay. And once the minions pop, if they will pop, <laughs> which they're not going to pop, the Lava Hound, man. It's a good deck. 
good deck, the Lava Hound deck. I will give him that. Okay, let's see if we can take down this right hand tower. I'm going to play the Fireball so that does kill those uh, Skellies straight away. Ideally, you want to have the Zap there because I just wasted four Elixir then. Uh, ideally, you want the Zap so as soon as the Hog Rider kills the Tombstone, you can play that Zap straight away and um, take out the Skellies that will turn up. Now, my Valkyr is doing absolutely nothing with this deck. So we're going to play the Valkyr. Um, let's see what she can do. If she can even get to the tower, I'd say that she will be able to. Yeah, she will. Now, I want to try and play. I'd really like to see that Mega Minion come a little bit forward, but I know he's not going to. So we're going to play the tower, the uh, cannon there. We will play our Ice Spirit at the back, and I'm going to zap his Ice Spirit as well. And I'm going to Fireball right there to try and help out with a bit of damage on the Mega Minion. Oh, sorry, on the uh, Lava Hound. Now, we didn't take too much damage there, so that's quite good. I'm happy where I am right now. I think... Yeah, I will play the Hog Rider there. Let him play that. Play the Ice Spirit in behind. I'm um, assuming he's got another Tombstone. No, that's okay. Let's get the Zap off there. I need to get the Sour down, so I have to Fireball on this side. He's probably realizes that, so he's going to play for the 3 Crown. He wants the 3 Crown. So that's okay. We'll do that. Get the Ice Spirit down. We will Zap. And we have to Fireball here because we just have no other choice. And hopefully those Lava Pups don't do too much damage and don't take us out. Oh man, he knows he's going to take us out with the next push. There is no doubt about that. There goes the Lava Hound. There goes the Mega Minions. I just need to go aggressive here and not let him build up the push with the Minions. If I can stop him right here, which I can, I'm going to put down the Cannon as well. That'll help out heaps. Oh, that was bad. Oh, just missed him. Okay. I've got to save my Zap here for when the Lava Hound pops, which is right there. And now I'm actually feeling okay-ish. I'm going to go like that. Then I'm going to Fireball. Then I'm going to Ice Spirit. Reasonable Fireball. Reasonable. Could have done a little bit more damage. Uh, he's coming in hot. We're going to distract over this way. Get down the minions. Actually, his minions came across. That is amazing for me. I can't believe it did. It actually did that. Uh, let's go with the Spear Goblins as well. I just can't let him get any damage onto my tower. Because he's going to fireball like that. There's only 100 left. Let's see what he can do. I've got the zap coming up after this. Which is good. I'm going to zap immediately there. He's going for the win. I think the log will do enough damage. And it does. That's okay. We'll give him a good game for that one. Even though he's BMing. That's all good. You can't let the BM affect you guys. Everyone loves the BM in this game, and it is just a game. Often you'll find that uh, people will continue to BM you, and as soon as you give them a good game or something like that, they no longer say anything to you, and they're just like, oh, uh, yeah. Because they know at that point that it, it really doesn't affect you. I've got the Hog Rider and the Ice Spirit in my opening hand here, so we're going to play it. He's got the Tombstone. Uh, probably He probably didn't need to play the Ice Spirit there. I, I kind of disagree with that one. Uh... That's okay. We'll play the Valkyrie back here. Take out the Princess. She'll get two hits off. Now, I'm at the start of the game. I don't know what he's got, so I'm going to play the minions above the Valkyrie there just to give her a little bit of protection. Uh, in this case, it's not going to be needed because they'll die straight away. He's got the Mega Minion there, so I'm assuming something's coming now with the Mega Minion. It isn't. He's got the Tombstone at the back, which I'm completely fine with. Distract the Mega Minion with the Spear Gobs. Uh, thankfully, the Skellies get distracted as well, so there's going to be no damage there. We will play the Hog Rider. And we'll get ready for our zap here. I don't think I'm going to be out. Oh, he plays the log. Get the zap off. At least I'll get a couple of hits off. It's better than nothing. She's going to focus on the hog rider first, which means she's not going to get a single shot off. Oh, she does focus on the tower. How come she didn't focus on my Valkyrie there? That's very strange. She focused on the hog rider and then focused straight on the tower. The Valkyrie was up. Wow. That's a, that's a strange one. Anyway, that does happen. Uh, I don't want to be wasting elixir here. And I don't really feel like I need my cannon at this point in time. Alright, he's building up for a super push on the right-hand lane. I just have excess elixir at this point, so I'm going to spend it on the left. Make him push down on the left. Make him do something defensive on that left-hand side that he doesn't want to do. So I'm not really doing too much damage on the left. I'm not really pushing for anything like that. I'm just making sure that I'm not wasting away my elixir. She's going to focus. The princess is going to focus on those spear goblins, which I'm fine with. Okay, there's the hoggy. We'll distract like that. And we'll go to the minions on this side. Now, that's the first time I've seen his hog rider. So at least now I know he's got a hog rider. Uh, and that's all good. Now, 
His right tower is at 1348. His left tower is at 1556. So I'm okay with this at the moment. This is actually not a bad spot for me to be in. That hog rider is going to go straight through, do some good damage. I'm going to pop down the cannon just preemptively for his hog rider. There it is. That was more luck than anything, I can guarantee you that. I don't really need to defend when the cannon is placed like that. Both of my towers will hit it, no dramas at all. So I'm going for the kill here. Play the hog rider, play the fireball. Let's see if he puts anything else down. Nope, I can play the zap straight away. And the hog rider should get... Is he going to get one hit? He got one hit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play the cannon again. I'm expecting the hog rider. There it is. Play the minions above it. Play the spear goblins on the right because it looks like the mega minion isn't going to come across to the uh, to the cannon. I know I've got this game in the bag because the fireball here, it does... How much damage does it do? 229. And my spear goblin is going to clean up on the right hand side anyway. Uh, he has left the match. So that kind of sucks. Anyway, Breath of the Wild from Lost Souls. Uh, sorry you rage quit at the end there, mate. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but anyway, I got 30 trophies for that one. So, as we can see, 3,079, that is now my... That is not what I wanted to go to. 3,079 is now my highest trophies ever. So, oh, we've got a crown chest as well. Let's open that one up. Hopefully we get some more Hog Rider or something like that. 26 Royal Giant, don't use him. 41 Knight, don't use him. 8 for the Mega Minion, don't use him. And 1 for the Poison, don't use him. But never mind, you can't win every battle, can you? Anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me. That was a short little video. Got three live battles in there, two wins, and also reaching my highest ever trophies. Hopefully, I can continue to push up a bit higher uh, and, uh, yeah, keep pushing through and keep pushing, keep beating some of these level 10s because it's pretty funny when you can beat a level 10 when you're a level 9. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. Like the video if you like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.